AO season, er, AO guys, what's up, it's Zach here, yeah, and, um, I'm sorry about my eyes, and you can probably think of I just woke up, but, um, yeah, so this anonymous YouTuber sent this, well, he didn't send it to me, but he uploaded it on his channel, after creating his channel, and, um, it mentioned me in it, so I just, figured I'd react to it. It's just from Gage to Zach. Let's check it out. Yo, what up, Zach? Look, I'm sure I'm the last person you ever want to hear from ever in your life. Not really. But I'm not here to point the finger but at myself. And I don't want you saying, oh no, you didn't do nothing wrong because I know exactly what I did wrong. I. Gage, we were both in the wrong. We both fucked up. I'm tired of people always saying, like, they're, like, they're the problem. I mean, yes, I do that because I'm always the problem, apparently. People make me the problem, so. But, Gage, you're not the problem. It was both of us. We did bad things to each other. You're not the only one that did something bad. I caused a almost seven year really, seven year not relationship, but seven year friendship. Well, technically it is a relationship. Friendship relationship. Got, Same thing. I got cocky. I got greedy. We both get cocky. Not greedy, we, but we I got. Do. I was just being selfish. I thought, oh, well, ever since I've gotten depressed and everything, and ever since you got depressed, I figured shit. I want to try to better myself, but yet yeah, all I did was make my situation worse, and I decided just to take it on everybody, especially you. See, that's the thing we have in common. And Gage, you're not the only one that does that. I take all my mental health issues on everyone, my bipolar, my anxiety, my schizophrenia, my depression, all that shit. So you're not alone on that. And it, and. Obviously, we can't control it. We can't fix it. So people have a problem with it, or they leave you, or they don't want to be around you. And that's the thing I hate. The fact that people can't just be there to want to help us. They have to leave and shit. Like, no, oh, bro. That's fucked up. You know, life is life. I didn't know what I was doing. I just, I don't know. I lost it. Everything that's happened is all because of me. Because of not my just because of you. Because of what everything I've done. It's not just because of you. It's because of both of us. We were both in the wrong. And we fucked up the friendship. Shit. So I'm not here to ask for your forgiveness or anything. I just wanted to come to apologize. Well, I forgive you anyway. And admit to all the wrongs I've done. And I apologize for my half so, of the problems that I caused to you. Yes. I did talk a lot of shit about you in the past. So what? Everyone does it. In the past. We all talk shit about each other. Well, I didn't all specifically talk shit about you. I did. But. I knew a lot of it, but I talked about you a little bit here and there that I shouldn't have said. When we, 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 when we stopped being friends, I talked a lot Gage. about you. Gage. It's okay, buddy. We all talk shit about each other. It goes back and goes both ways. We, everyone talks shit about me. My girlfriend, her sister, her mother, her family, people at work. People all around me, everyone, there's not one person in this world that I know that's ever not talked shit about me except Trayvon that I know of so far. I don't know if Savannah ever has, but I know everyone else has always talked shit about me. So you're not alone and you're not the only one that's done it. So I'm not even mad. I don't even care. I don't. And I shouldn't have. I was telling people a bunch of lies that I should have never said. People do it all the time. And I'm wrong for that. I know I am. I You're don't not wrong for any, that. It's how you feel. Any appreciation or anything but for anybody. It is what it is. I also... I was also... Faking all the... Liking our matches together. And just wanting all the matches. Because I saw nobody else was doing it. Even though I didn't enjoy it. I was only trying to make you happy. Because I know that you're disappointed with nobody else. I'm a little 
shocked. I'm kind of a little hurt. But Gage, if you didn't want to do the matches, you could have just said so. You didn't have to do it to make me happy. Honestly, Gage, nothing in this world could ever make me happy. Obviously, Tavana, yes, but I've been permanently broken from life, so there's nothing anyone can do to make me happy. But I had the same issue with Pat and Derek. They didn't, they never wanted to do any wrestling matches with me. They always pretended like they wanted to do it, or I had to force them into it. But I didn't want to force you into it because I didn't, because I'm over that. Like, I'm older now, and I don't believe in forcing people to do anything anymore. But you didn't have to pretend all these years just to make me happy. If you didn't want to, you could have just said so. I would have feuded with Koran for the rest of my life or something, or I would have found something else to feud with. You didn't have to do it. But I get it. Yeah, you didn't have to do it. You could have just told me that you didn't want to. It's fine. It would have been fine. I wouldn't have been like, ugh, fine. You don't want to be my friend. I wasn't going to be dramatic about it. But I get it. I want to do it. Even though wrestling is not really a thing no more. Not that I know of. I don't know. It is. Well, I was only doing it because that's all nobody else was doing it. And I didn't want you giving up your career. So that's why I was doing it. I pushed myself to do it even though I wasn't enjoying it. Just to uh, put... Wrestling is not for everyone. And lastly, yes. And I don't know if you know about this, but when you and Shaki were having a whole feud out, I was taking Shaki's side in the beginning when you and him were having that. Uh, we were never feuding. I mean, we were, but it was just because the sports had network. They were lighting the, um, the flame fire between our friendship. We weren't beefing with each other. I just thought that Shaquem had turned his back on me for them. So then I got mad and I just took myself out of the situation. But yeah, me and Shaquem never really beefed or hated each other or anything like that. So there was no sides. Well, technically it was me. It was like a triple side. It was me, my side, Shaquem's side, and Sports and Network side. But it's okay, Gage. Everyone always takes other people's sides. No one ever takes my side, but it's okay. If you felt Shaquem was right, that's how you feel. Everyone's life that you claim to fuck up, we all fucked it up ourselves. It wasn't you. Or something happened to us and it fucked us up. But you didn't fuck up anyone's life. I fucked up my own life. That's why I'm still suffering. Because I fucked up my own life. I did the shit that I caused to my life. I cheated on my girlfriend. I kicked everyone out of my life at some point. I treated everyone like shit. I did this to myself. You didn't ruin my life. So that's why I'm taking myself away from all my friendships. And I just want to stop by here first before I make a lot more regrets. Before I start deleting people off my stuff. But I want to stop by here and apologize. Because it's time I started being a man. It's time I started being the age that I am. And that's almost 22. And that's when I should start respecting you as the man that you are today. Zachary Orton. Zachary fucking Orton. A.K.A. the brother that I used to have. A.K.A. We're still brothers. We're still brothers. Our friendship never ended. Our relationship in the family never ended. 
course they're brothers for life. I still love you. You're still my brother. To the end. Hey, the best friend that I wish I still had. We're still best friends. Yes, I may not have <coughs> talked to you much before, but I tried. That's it's okay. just hard to talk to people. I get that. When I sat there and just kept lying and lying to myself, thinking that they weren't my friend. When, when really, you were my best friend. You are my everything, dude. We're, we're a family. We still are, and you well, are my everything. Well, I threw all that away. And for what? You did. Because of jealousy? Because of anger? Because of depression? You were jealous of me? Why? I have nothing good for you to be jealous of. Think about it. You actually have me in your body. I'm still a skeleton. Everyone hates my guts. I have a shitty job. I'm a failure. I don't even have a career yet. So there's nothing you should be jealous of. I don't, I don't know, it's just, everything fucked it up, no way, I do know why, it's because I was too stupid to see the truth, that you were my only best friend that I needed, and I still but I threw that away, because I was so fucking blinded and stupid by my depression, and it just caused me to give up on everything and everyone, that's why I got no friends today. But that's okay, you know? Because at the end of the day, I already know I'm going to die alone. And that could be in the next couple of years. But yeah, nothing's going to change the fact that I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. So, I mean, just recently, me and my girlfriend broke up. Because she couldn't handle me being depressed. I lost a lot of friends. Gage, trust me. No one can handle my depression either. Dave Potter can't even handle my depression. I'm surprised she hasn't left me yet. But you're not gonna die alone. Because you have me. You have your family. And that's all you need. You don't need all these other fake friends. And maybe if Quran's your friend, you got me, Quran, and your family. We're all there for you. We all care and love about you. So you're not alone couple friends recently because I was taking shit out of them that I shouldn't have and all that made me realize was that I have you always said you were a terrible person no I am I still am a terrible person is what I do no. ruins people's lives you don't do that just to better themselves you don't, you don't do that and I'm not asking for your forgiveness or anything I'm just here just to apologize to you well, I forgive you, and I, mean, if you I want hope to you can forgive me. me. That's, I say, you do whatever you want, I'm just here to apologize. I'm not here to ask you for forgiveness or for anything. You, you don't even have to listen to this. Well, I did. You can just block this. I'm just here just to apologize, man. Alright, Zach. I'm going to bed. It's... Well, not I can't even go to bed. Because this is stressing me out. I've been holding this in for too long. But... I'm gonna go. You have a good night, bud. Well, all I have to say is, Gage, I still love you. We're brothers for life. And I am i was nice enough to listen to it. I feel like I'm too nice to block something. Unless if, like, it was to attack me or to make me a bad guy. That's the only thing I'll block. And you didn't do that. So I'm not going to block it. I listen to it. And I listen to it every day. So, you're fine. Don't worry, everybody. You still want to be brothers. We can still be brothers. And I want you to do me a favor. I want you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll subscribe to yours. And I want to, I want you to watch my two upcoming matches tomorrow against Quran and the Ghost, and then in a boxing match against Quran in 15 days. All right, I'll dedicate them both to you. We're still brothers. I'm sorry that happened to you with your girlfriend and your. Family.
fake friends, but I'm not going anywhere. Your family's not going anywhere. Again, I don't know your relationship with Quran, but I'm sure he wouldn't leave your life either if you guys are friends. Please don't die out. I need you in my life. I love you, man. Brothers for life.